little ASMR for you guys. Ah. So, <laughs> welcome back to <laughs> another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Orca a little more in depth, um, and some of its sister applications, Cassetter and um, Pilot. So Orca is a MIDI sequencer. Uh, it allows us to send MIDI data to uh, internal and external synths. It works a little different with Pilot, but uh, uh, most of the uh, commands work the same way if you're sending it to um, uh, other sequencers with the exception of um, the type of operator we're going to use. So uh, all of these applications can be found on itch.io, which is a indie game website but uh, they put their put their stuff up uh, conveniently for us to find. Uh, I just typed in Orca in the search bar here, and you can see there's Orca, Pilot, and Cassetta, all of which I'll be using today. I'm using Pilot just for the convenience of um, having a uh, internal synth that works pretty well with Orca, and uh, giving you some like different ways to uh, send the information. So. Um, yeah, uh, they all work on uh, Windows, Linux, and Mac. I'll be using a Mac for this. So, yeah, let's get into it. Um, when you open the setter, it's going to ask you to select a samples folder. So I'm just going to press Enter and select my folder. It's already open here, so I'm going to click Open. And then uh, I'll choose a kick and uh, load that into our first sample here. And um, yeah, so to send the information to uh, Cassetter, it gives you the format right here. I'll just go over that. So exclamation point, zero, zero, zero is our, the first zero is just the number sample uh, bank that we're choosing here. And uh, this last uh, uh, input is going to be how we want those samples to play. So, uh, O plays it uh, as it's banged, so it plays it uh, like a one shot, like one, it plays it once. Uh, L loops the sample, and R plays the sample in reverse. So, uh, if we trigger this, we're going to trigger this with D, which is um, D just triggers a bang uh, at half of the tempo, and you can change how often you want that to happen. So. So that does it at half the speed. And that does it at twice the speed. And uh, if you click spacebar, that pauses the entire internal clock. Um, yeah, so uh, we use that for that. And if we're sending MIDI information to uh, uh, an external synth, not pilot in this case, an external synth, we want to use a colon. And then if we're sending MIDI information to a uh, pilot, we're going to use a semicolon. So uh, I'm just going to get rid of this D so that it's not banging the, uh, the kick. Um, so our first input here is going to be uh, the MIDI channel. So zero will select our first synth. Uh, pilot has nine synths um, and some effects, which we will get to. Um, so our first input is our MIDI channel, our second input is our uh, octave, so I'm going to click 2, and our third input is our, um, our, I can get rid of this actually, our third input is our, uh, our note, so C. Uh, we'll bang that the same way, and you see we're getting a note there. Uh, if I change this to an A, then we get our notes. So yeah, you can play around with that, but 
we want to sequence this somehow, right? So uh, sequence our notes somehow. So uh, what I'm going to use is T, uh, which uh, lets you uh, fill. Uh, this is going to output whatever this uh, sequence is. So you can change the sequence to four, four notes. You can make it eight or or whatever amount. Uh, I'm going to keep it at four and do C, C, A, F, and E. And then we want something to uh, make that move along this and change this. So we're going to use a clock uh, divided by four. No, that, okay, no. Divided by this one here. So on the left side uh, is the clock division. So two is half, four is uh, by four. Uh, on the right, we have uh, what the uh, what the clock is counting up to. So this would count up to three, but uh, it, it's it's counting four four notes total: uh, zero, one, two, and three, which is four. Um, so that's gonna count these for us, and we have our note changing here. And because it's uh, in one block, it's changing. We can just place that where our, our, our note is. So uh, remember we have our first, if you go here, first MIDI channel, octave, and our note, and then semicolon, will make that into something that we can bang. And we wanna bang that at the same rate that the clock is divided by. And that's gonna create a little sequence for us. Um, so we can copy and paste that. We can copy and paste that and uh, change the oscillator. So now both these oscillators are playing. We can change the note, we can change the octave. Change how fast it plays. I don't know if you can hear the fireworks in the background, but uh, sorry about that if you can. Um, so we also want to trigger our drums. So uh, let's do that. So that uh, that kick is pretty aggressive for this this kind of tune. So <laughs> and sometimes it repeats, but I think that's kind of fun. Uh, that might just be a problem with the the, the sampler itself. Uh, I'm gonna add in a hat as my second here, uh, which is gonna be uh, one. So. I can actually just copy and paste this and uh, change that to one. And if I change the, uh, the how fast uh, it's banging to one, it's just going to give me a continuous bang for every single frame. And um, what I want to do with this is uh, randomize the uh, the low pass filter. So, so what we're gonna do to do that is um, the same same operator uh, exclamation point and just copy uh, what it's telling me here. So one C and then. Uh, because we want it to be random, we're going to put an R above where that um, where that uh, that uh, input is. So um, just to uh, to uh, have this only play the hi hat, I'm going to mute this. And how to mute it is to um, 
uh, drag across it and press command or control forward slash and that will put everything in hashtags if we need it. And to unmute, to unmute we're just gonna uh, do the same thing. So So for some reason it's not affecting our hi hat here. Oh, because we're not banging it. So we need to bang it. <laughs> we're gonna bang it with the D. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> um <laughs> anyway, we're gonna bang it with a D uh at one, which is gonna give it a continuous bang, and then our our range of the random is going to be from zero to Z, which it does automatically anyway, but you can set custom ranges like A to G if you only want to do notes, um, etc. So now if we wanted to uh, randomize it at only half of that, we can do two. Now we can also change another parameter with this that I like to do, uh, which is uh, detune. So uh, the code for that is 14. So 51, 4. Which is fun. Uh, very fun. I, I think, is the, is the, is the, the, the original value. Yeah. Um, let's go over some uh, other ways to uh, send MIDI information. So, and uh, another way to send MIDI information is with G. What G does is generates uh, generates whatever you input here um, on a. Uh, this input is X. This input is the Y axis, and this is uh, the the um the length of what it is someone's having e here sorry what we're generating um uh and we're going to control the y axis what's a clock and that a clock just counts from one to uh one to zero and wherever uh uh the east word uh hits it's going to bang you see it bang along this this hashtag here but um E goes east, N goes north, S goes south, and W goes west. So, uh, if we have operators all along here uh, with the same, we don't want this random oscillator because that's going to confuse us. Um, uh, so we have these, they're all the same, they're going to be the same oscillator one. Uh, I'm going to put in some different octaves here just to uh, play around with it and then different notes so A, B, doing that, uh, you can also randomize this by controlling the clock with another clock. So that's another way to get sort of uh, either a sequence of notes or random notes uh, sent somewhere. Another thing you can do, uh, a little more complex, I would say, but it's fun to look at, <laughs> is uh, O, which reads an operator at um, at x and y. So if, if x is two, it's gonna it's gonna read. You can see by the dot, it's gonna read it two down. Uh, and if it's 
x is 2 over, it's going to 3 over, it's going to read it 3 places down. So it's reading the operator 2 down, and if I put it, uh, a here, for instance, it's going to read that a. So if I type in random letters or numbers, so we have a, a, a set of numbers here, and we want it to read uh, our random one of these numbers. So we're going to put a clock on our, our, our y-axis here. And you see it's reading uh, too far down. So we can set the, the range of that clock to 4. So it's only going to read 4. And um, because uh, right next to this clock is um, uh, the division for the clock, we can't, um, we can't put a, uh, a clock there. So uh, we're going to use something called a, uh, a Y. Not something called a Y, it's a Y. We're going to use a Y. Which, uh, what, it, what a Y does is just um, uh, translate something from here over to here across it. So we can uh, add things uh, that you would need the x-axis for. We can add those uh, to here because we can't uh, put a clock right there. But instead of a clock, we're going to put uh, R, which is random. And that's going way too far too. So we're also going to control that to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. So we have 9 steps here. So we're going to uh, make it from 0 to 9. So now it's selecting a random note um, in all of those. And um, we want this to uh, be sent somewhere. So uh, let's say we have our hat back. I'm going to copy this, paste it down here. And 1C is our low pass filter. And we want this value to be randomized. So um, what we're going to do is put a G here. Now our G is going to be um, sort of our teleportation device, and it's going to let us put this value somewhere else in Orca. So as you can see, that's uh, that's outputting our um, that's outputting our our whatever this input is here, and uh, uh, this input here is. Uh, how many across you want this value to be on the x-axis, and this is how many across you want it to be on the y-axis. So uh, if we just count one, two, three, four, five, uh, that's that row where that is. And then so we got five on our x-axis. That's going to move this over five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Move it nine on our y axis. Okay, I went too far. Eight, seven. And now, this random value that we're getting from this set of numbers is going to be uh, displayed here. Uh, five to the right from where G, G's first number is, uh, and five and seven down from there. So, yeah. Kind of gotta find the sweet spot. Um, so that's another way of doing it. Another fun thing you can do to change the um, uh, the BPM of this, which we can also modulate. Uh, not modulate. We can also change. Uh, we can also send MIDI information too. Um, we use the. Uh, dollar sign, which sends scripts to uh, the orca command, which is down here somewhere. Um, so if we, use, if we do bpm colon, and then whatever we want our bpm to be, say 135, um, we can trigger that. And that's going to constantly change our BPM to 135. It's already at 135, so you're not going to really hear a difference. But if we do a clock here, count from 1 to 9, the BPM only goes from 60 to 200 and something. So we're going to set the, the, cl the clock range to um, 
3, which is going to make it go from 0 to 3. Uh, and then uh, change the last uh, last number here to, we're going to use something, we're going to use a J, which um, like the Y, Y goes from left to right, J goes from top to bottom. So because we can't put, um, we can't uh, change the parameters of, an, of another clock uh, left and right here because we have that 3 there, I'm going to just use J for that. So we put clock over the J, that's going to have this number, whatever output value is from the clock, jump from here down to here now we want to set we can set that clock range to um to uh nine so it'll go from zero to nine so uh you can see our bpm changing down here and it's already affecting here if we have like a uh, a kick or something. So this kick is not being triggered randomly. This kick is being triggered by um, by our clock divided by two. But since our clock is constantly changing, it sounds like it's random. If we wanted to randomize this even more, we could. Um, uh, modulate the clock division with another clock and uh, just build on top of that. Should get a get a synth in there. I didn't, I didn't really go over our, our synth too much. So um, now there are also effects in 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 this, and uh, those are uh, changed by the um, the name of the effect, which are listed here. Uh, Rav is reverb. Uh, bit is um, like bit distortion. This is distortion, wah is wah, I don't know what she is, feedback is feedback, DL, DEL is delay, think trez tremolo, vibrato, weird things. These four don't work because they haven't been um, uh, uh, developed yet by the developers, but uh, they definitely do need compression because it can get really loud. Um, and you can't really change the volume of it. Uh, you can change the velocity of the notes uh, with uh, um, adding one of the numbers right after, but um, you can't change the volume. Uh, so if you want to change the reverb, the first number is the um, the wet, and uh, the next number is the depth. So uh, I'm going to do 22. And I just clicked enter. Oh, I got the space in Because our octave is controlled by a number, we can just put a clock right on top of the octave and it will count from 1 to uh, 9 in the octaves. Or we put an R 
and um, set the range of that R from 0 to uh, 5. So it'll go from the, uh, the first octave to uh, the fifth octave. Uh, at a, it'll, it'll trigger randomly. So. And this only applies to this, this fourth oscillator here. Um, if you wanted to trigger this random at a uh, at a different rate, because the random always triggers always uh, yeah always triggers at um, whatever the clock is, we can I'm just gonna move this over here. We can change it to a lowercase r, which means it will only trigger at uh, a bang. And we can put a D over that, which is going to bang it at the same time. This is banging it. So now it's only changing when uh, this is being banged. Always also change uh, how these are being banged. So so even though this may seem random, we're still getting a um, a decent pattern out of the, the change in the BPM. And that's because this is a clock, so it's going from 1 to 3. Uh, it's not uh, randomized from 1 to 3. Uh, let's change that. Might as well. Zero From 0 to 3, it's going to randomize it now. You can always change this number in between. This number is not actually being changed. Um, change this number it's kind of hard to get to because you can't put anything here because uh, that's a parameter that's being used um, so what we can do is uh, use our generator here which uh, tr uh, teleports things so G uh, and we want to teleport a random I'll move this down G we want to teleport a random uh, number I mean, want that random number trigger. We, yeah, we want this random uh, number. We don't want it, we don't want it to be a number, so we want it to go from zero to nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We want it to go seven on the x-axis, and once we go there, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Conveniently, there's a seven there. Very funny, haha. Ha. One, two, three. We want to go three down from there. So there we go. We got that 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 random number in there. So this is going to be a lot more random and definitely not uh, as rhythmic as it was before, since we have a random here, a random here too, and this is also uh, pretty random. If you ever need um, help, command G will bring up the list of everything there is to work uh, uh, 
but you don't really need to use all of these at once. But um, some of the more helpful ones are sense orca command. We went over that. Halts a line if you want to. Um, pauses the line basically. So if you use it without, uh, let's say, the click command, you get out of there. If I put in a hashtag here, that's gonna halt out that entire line. So if I put it all the way over here, it's gonna halt out that in entire line. Um, and to end a halt, you just put another hashtag. So if I put things between two hashtags, it's only gonna halt what's in between there. So uh, yeah, there's some, help, some help, uh, there's some helpful uh, stuff about the uh, parameters themselves there, but that should get you started on uh, using these three applications together. Uh, or using uh, an external synth with Orca. Uh, yeah.